Their feud was sparked back in 2016 when Kanye West rapped I made that B.H. famous in his hit single, leading to a social media war. And Taylor Swift reignited her feud with Kim Kardashian as she revealed bullying by her and Kanye left her at rock bottom in a new interview with this month's Elle magazine. The singer, 29, was trolled when Kim, 38, took to Twitter in July 2016 to note that it was National Snake Day before releasing footage which appeared to show Taylor consenting to the song lyrics while on speaker phone with Kanye. Legions of Kim's fans then plastered a snake emoji all over Taylor's social media accounts. Look what you made me do hitmaker Taylor revealed Kim is yet to apologize for her comments. She said, in my experience, I've come to see that bullies want to be feared and taken seriously. A few years ago, someone started an online hate campaign by calling me a snake on the internet. Taylor made light of the snake tweet when she introduced a mammoth inflatable cobra named Karen, an apparent dig at the Kardashian, Jenner's love of names starting with a K, to her tour shows. She said, The fact that so many people jumped on board with it led me to feeling lower than I've ever felt in my life but I can't tell you how hard I had to keep from laughing every time my 63-foot inflatable cobra named Karen appeared on stage in front of 60,000 screaming fans. The star added that poking fun at Kim's actions weakened her power over her. She said, it's the stadium tour equivalent of responding to a troll's hateful Instagram comment with lol. It would be nice if we could get an apology from people who bully us. But maybe all I'll ever get is the satisfaction of knowing I could survive it, and thrive in spite of it. Kim and Taylor's feud was sparked around the release of Kanye West's song Famous in 2016. Taylor took offense at the rapper's lyric, For all my Southside NS that know me best, I feel like me and Taylor might still have sex, why? I made that bitch famous. West defended the line claiming he had a conversation with Taylor about the lyrics in question. Swift's team denied that West asked for approval but afterwards Kim Kardashian released a partial recording of the conversation in question. I'm really glad you had the respect to call me that and tell me that as a friend, about the song. It's just a really cool thing to do, and a really good show of friendship Taylor is heard saying. Though Swift can be heard speaking positively about West's lyrics in the recording. Kanye appears to tell Taylor she would be referred by name and not as that BH, which Swift later clarified as her main point of contention, noting the misogynistic clilt of the line. Before releasing the video clip Kim took to Twitter to note that it was National Snake Day which stuck and saw a lot of Kim's fans plastering the snake emoji all over Taylor's social media accounts. She released a subsequent statement where she said she was being falsely painted as a liar when I was never given the full story or played any part of the song. It, is character assassination. Taylor was also depicted in the controversial music video for the song, which showed a bed filled with wax figures of nude celebrities. Kanye and Kim appeared next to imitation versions of Swift, Donald Trump, Bill Cosby, Caitlyn Jenner, Amber Rouse, and more in the shocking piece. But the Calabasas reality diva said that she's over the rivalry while chatting with Andy Cohen during an episode of Watch What Happens Live in January. During her stop by the E! talk show, Kim updated fans while playing a game called Squash That Beef with her sisters Chloe and Courtney. The raven-haired mother of three nonchalantly sipped on a drink as she dismissed the idea of any lingering tension between her and the reputation singer. Over it. She told Cohen of the feud. Kim said she let time diffuse the matter, rather than hashing things out through a conversation. Asked if the pair have spoken, she told Andy, No. I feel like we've all moved on. The star seemed to confirm that she was cool with Taylor during another segment of the show, where Andy asked if she'd rather be trapped in an elevator with Swift or Drake. She was quick to choose the singer despite their rocky past.